I have a plan. It's a silly plan, and it's probably a little bit pointless. But I'm curious as to how long time would pass if I left this go, yeah, let this go, all night long. Because, like, I want to record the video. And last couple of videos I've had that nice time lapse. But obviously the main city, that's not really the one you want to go for. I'm thinking we need to spend some time today, before we start the time lapse, preparing this city. Making it as lovely as it can be. With the hope that um, we'll be able to use a love, make a lovely time lapse of this beautiful place as it grows and changes over time. Now obviously for that to work, I'll need to, well, have a few more islands around. And a few more bridges over. So we've got a couple to the mainland already, and they're already building over there, which is lovely, trust me. Um, but we can we can do it better. I reckon if we build a few extra additional islands around the outer edges of this sector. Over here, over here, over here. Maybe one in the middle here. I think we'll be in a much better spot. And also we get the future then. So I'm not sure how long will pass, but it would be fun to watch and see. So, yeah. Um, that is my thought process. Will it work? I have no idea. But it'd be nice to find out, wouldn't it? So, for now, our main goal is making money and trying to make this city grow as fast as our other friend up there. Now, we've already done a few things. Like, we do have goods coming in now, which is nice. Well, we've got food. Do we have goods? Well, your steel is going to go up there. We've got goods, food coming from there. I thought we were making or getting goods. Yeah, we've got the furnace there, and that goes up to... Wait, I thought we did have a factory somewhere. Ah, it's been a while since I've played now. Anyway, the point is... I want to try and make this place work better. And, um... I want to see what we can do to make it more interesting. So, it doesn't look like we actually did get a chance to, uh... To send this stuff anywhere. Which is a shame, I thought we we had. But no, the steel needs to go somewhere to become goods. Now I think this... No, not this. This! Yes, it's sand and chemicals. Which would still work for goods, actually. Because we've got sand. Do we have sand? Yeah, we have sand down here. And we, have, we don't have chemicals, though. Oh, that's a good point. We don't have any chemicals. Ooh, this isn't... Um... Okay. Anyway, the point is, I'm thinking we need to expand, and yes, and the best way of doing that... Oh, was it there? No, that's Iron Mine. Ah. This is what happens when I haven't been playing for a while. Make go faster. We still want time to pass, even if we're not actually prepared yet. Because, you know, time means money, and money means more expansion on this island eventually. So yeah, at the moment, what we've done is we've set up a basic transit hub. Now, I'm thinking eventually, we could set up another rail network that goes around the outer islands. We'll probably do that fairly quickly. Make a nice little, um, maybe make a nice little, uh, yeah, metro system, because that seems to work pretty well. Though we could probably go with it being a little bit smaller than this one. This one's a little bit, uh, silly. The other thing is I'm kind of curious as to how big this will grow before the end as well. But oh well. And yeah, then I'll just have a have a massive time lapse at the end of the video, which may be the middle of the video. I don't know. We also will need to build a place for an eventual airport air, airline air, airport. Sorry, so we'll probably want that as well. We want to line it up in such a way that we can get the the river to the, the road to go across though so that's another thing if we can find it again it was over here somewhere oh too far not far enough oh no oh there it is <laughs> okay <laughs> nothing wrong with me i know where the one is but not the other apparently now as you see alanis is growing quite quick be quickly because we keep on funding new buildings like wow it's already down to four so that's actually a good sign that means that if we can build up the um, up these roads, these these uh, places for it. So, for example, if I go here, right, 
and then I do this, I can then make this territory into a small island. Won't be used straight away, but oh, actually, we want it to be, don't we? Because if we don't, they will. So, gotta be careful. This is actually gonna be quite um, interesting, isn't it? Like, in, in trying to get this to actually work. You gotta be very careful, road. One, two, three, road. Um, you've got to make sure the roads line line up still, because if you do them wrong, they just will not use them. They will don't they won't destroy them or anything, but they'll build their own roads. So you got to be very careful when you're building roads for a city that you still do it in the same grid system as they do. Which is exactly why this is the best form of um, like housing, uh, best form form for a city, because if you do it any other way, the game's like, oh, what's that? You don't. You don't you don't want to put you put a road there. Okay, that's fine. We'll just build our road next to it. And if it's going around, it it's, it just gets messy, really, really messy. Wait, what? This is 1910, but we're actually getting electric vehicles already, which seems a little bit weird too when I think about. It. That's okay. Oh well. So yeah, that's what we'll try and do. Um, we can't destroy that because that will go away too. Hmm, we probably didn't do the best thing by putting that there, but I'm sure we can build another rip bridge that goes this way and then this way. Or we could build this out a little bit and make like a secondary one going down here. As you see, our money's going up fairly quickly at this point, so we should be fine to do whatever craziness we actually want to do. Um, I'm just going to focus on making the bridges first, so let's just try doing that. Let's see, so this one... We can build up here. There we go. Now, the thing is, I probably don't want to turn that into a bridge fully. Like, I probably want this to go up to here. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. That's the wrong type of thing. I want it to be, uh... Okay, it needs to be flat. It's the best way for, for cities to grow. All right, so do we have enough to rebuild that bridge? Probably. If we don't, well, hopefully it will. But um, yeah, if we do this, then we have the one bridge built here very easily, one bridge built here, and then we can build another bridge that goes over here, and they still get to live, although there'll be a while before they get any housing upgrades, which is a bit of a shame for them, but that's okay. Yeah, see, that's fine. And we can expand this, this island out too. Uh, probably down here and then link between these two islands they will build on their own of course um if i did have islands there but i just don't want to risk them building more um industry around this place like we want it to be as the same as the other city in a lot of ways now as for where i want the oh, actually you know what hmm I could even put the airport right here, which is probably what I was thinking last, last last episode. Or I could even build it down here, but there's less likelihood that will have people around it. So I guess the big thing I could do is expand this primary island in the middle and build a massive airport space and then give it time to expand naturally onto this island as sort of the core. That might work. But we'll need more money before that because uh, obviously we need to be able to buy the massive island and then by the massive island like it's not enough to create the land we also need to actually pay to claim it too all right with that in mind though now that is not a fishing bay that is an engineering supplies which we do actually have need we need those quite dramatically Oh, that was where we were going to build to the steel. I remember that ill-advised... Hmm. Attempted building a, 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 a thing through. Okay, but the thing is, we can just be really, really cheesy. Right? Like, there's no rules against how much cheese we can use. Delicious cheese is delicious. And it's very nutritious. So, I reckon if we wanted to say cheese is just a just a little bit to make sure our lovely little empires don't go under. We could probably go 
Yeah, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's a perfectly reasonable route for it to take on its own. So now we can actually do this, which means we can take steel and chemicals to there to create that. And apparently we need both steel and chemicals. So we'll need to, ooh, we don't actually have chemicals yet. We'll need to also build up over there so we can. So the chemicals can come from here. So we can just either build a nice little tunnel Let's build a nice little tunnel. I, I know that technically the, um, oh god, that's expensive. Oh boy. I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Oh god, look at all the money going. God, no. It's fine, we're always there. We're like most of the way through. Okay. Okay, the whole money situation, um, let alone having a pathway which can actually get water to go all the way is a work in progress however the plan is there we can send iron from here to there chemicals from here to there and then goods from here to here and then we'll have all of the major things the ingredients for this to actually work as intended so that's actually a positive though i probably will want another buoy or two we can probably already set up the the steel one just so it knows it's getting resources and hopefully won't shut down. That's one thing I'm always a little bit concerned about when it comes to these sort of places. You don't want them to shut down. Alright, so let's go. We want iron ore. No, steel, sorry. Steel, yep. To go from the owl nest furnace. Okay, what's our best option here? Let's just go for all it's all the steel. So we'll go out there's furnace, the buoy, the other buoy, to the beach, to the buoy, to the other buoy, and then of course back home. So we're good. So this one can just do that. In fact, technically, do you still do running costs if you're waiting to be filled? So if I go full load. Does that still impact your running cost when you're stagnant? Let's watch. You know, if I'm doing an eight hour recording of this or something, I'm gonna need to check I've got plenty of space. <clears throat> I got 970 gigs left. If it's more than that, I'm screwed anyway. I won't be able to edit it anyway. All right, so let's watch this. Um, no, the cost is still going up. Wait. Oh no, you need. No, you are producing. It says all. It says for maximum production rate, though. Okay, so it is still producing steel. It's going to take a bit of time, so that's fine. Do we have any? of those steel fields around. There's one. There we go, so we've got scrap metal here. And we've got mana rock, which we might as well build something to anyway. So yeah, let's just build this up. We'll put this down, like so. At the fish market, though that's not what it's gonna be used for in the slightest. And then we'll just um, expand out and we'll do it with a couple of things. So first of all, we'll do this to the fish market. And then we'll do some people because I would like to eventually link this up with everything else as well there we go and maybe one more just for future beautiful all right so I'm going to build another ship or two ships actually one will be for the scrap metal well I mean it's a good idea to put the scrap metal in there anyway so we'll make we'll get to go from here all the way to, well, the buoy first, then to the buoy, then to the furnace, and then back to the buoy, and back to the buoy, and to the fish market, which is fine. So yeah, see you. All right, and the second thing we need to do is I really would love passengers and mail going towards there as well. So we 800 passengers in that one, I think. Oh, I'm actually it's 42 versus 32. I think honestly this paddle boat is still better. So let's throw that in there, like so. So it can go from the fish market 
to the buoy. I might just send it straight to um, our nest and then to this buoy. And then it should be able to find its way back home. I hope. I hope. We'll see. And of course, the male ship, which was always going to be this one because it seems to have an increased amount of mail that it can carry. Once again, goes to the fish market. Goes to the buoy. Goes to the buoy. Goes there. Goes back to the buoy. Goes back to the buoy. And there you go. Now, the other thing is I didn't technically increase the range of the mail collection of this because I these ones won't connect mail. So also, if we're going to go for mail of the city, yeah, we'll need to get more mail. So we'll link these truck depots up as well. It's a little bit cheesy, but that's literally the point, right? We're trying to make money quick. So the best way is with a little bit of cheese, perfectly balanced and all that. All right, cool. So we're going to have steel coming up to here very shortly, but we still need to spend our current million dollars that we've managed to save over this last little while to uh, build another waterway, which we could have probably done with a waterway, a normal waterway, but that's okay. Not like we make a tunnel though, that's the only problem. Oh god, there goes another million just clearing a giant, giant pathway through the water. Lovely. I feel like this is going to need multiple buoys, so I might put one here. One here, and then I might actually put one right in the middle here when the water comes through. There we go. Perfect. So that should be enough to make the link as soon as we've got the last leg of the link done. Which shouldn't take too much longer. It looks like we're almost through. Just got to dig through another small mountain beforehand. Alright, well, I mean it's getting scrap metal, which is good, and pretty quickly given. I hope my scrap metal ship's actually making it through. I assume it is. It probably just went there and hasn't been back yet, but still. Oh god, can you imagine? It's like this company paying literally millions of dollars to destroy a mountain. This is a capitalist dystopian hellscape for sure. There we go. All right, so with that done, we can now send through the chemicals to here, which is fine. Um, we also want to send some other things through as well, and we need to send food and goods back. So we'll need a couple of things. So we will need a good ship going from there, but we'll also need... It's kind of a shame we can't like alternate between them, but okay, it's fine. So first things first, new ship containing chemicals. And we're gonna send this lovely, big, this lovely, big liner. Okay, so we'll start from this side because it makes the most sense to start from here. Okay, then we'll go through Metafair Boy Buoy, up to Mare Rock Buoy, onto the other Buoy, onto the Lake Buoy, and then we don't actually have the have the ways going to, so let's build the dock up here. There we go. And we'll send it once again. Oh shit, I literally just deleted everything. Gotcha! Okay, you guys just keep doing your thing, it's fine. I just, I probably need a little bit more screen real estate than I've currently got to do this. But that, that's okay. So, beach. Buoy. 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 I usually don't get this much use out of boats. So all the ship mods have clearly worked if they're the only things I'm using for profit at the moment. But anyway, buoy, 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 and back again. So that is the chemical ship, the most important ship. However, we also need a couple of good ships. One good ship will do the same route. 
Oh wait, that's chemicals. Well, we got research goods anyway, so let's go down to goods. There we go. Oh wait, I don't think it's actually done. Goods, goods. All right, so the good ship has to go from Walkerville Beach to there. Do that, Dewey. To that, Bowie. And then back to town, which is fine. And then we need the buoy, the, the the ship that goes back the other way as well. So this one will start up here. Oh, I think that's still chemicals. Let's um, change it to, ooh, a new freight barge. Pretty small though, so don't really care about that. This is really quite fast. I mean, it's faster than this, but meh, it's okay. So yes, um, let's send this to goods. There we go, perfect. And then I'll go from Meadowvale to the buoy. To the buoy, to the buoy, to the buoy, to the water side, to the buoy, to the buoy, to the buoy, and then to the buoy and back again. So yeah, that's fine. Buoy on. All right, buoy for you. Now, the next stage is obviously we want this to produce more chemicals and we want to not disappear on us, which is key. So it says, well, it needs Carolyn, Carol, Carolyn, which I don't think we actually have yet, but we do, we do have food, and food can come from Medivale South. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to send uh, send the food as well, it'll be a smaller ship, or maybe the same size ship, but like, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh god, clicking to the ship depot, oops, I've already done it, okay. So, we're going to get another one for food. I'm going to build this lovely trunker, tracker thing. We go from middle of our south to buoy to buoy. You see where this is going? It's just consistently to buoy, buoy, buoy. All right, that was the actual. That should have been waterside. Then buoy, then buoy, and then buoy, and then we're good. So go for it. All right. So if we're right on that, which we should be, we should now have food and goods and everything going everywhere, which is lovely. And the metal is finally being produced at great quantities, enough that our ship has finally take is finally taking its maiden voyage. Oh, wrong ship, the other one, this one. Yep, one thousand. It's it's taken multiple years to fill up currently, but that's okay. It's um, it's fine. Technically, we have two goals in mind at the moment. One. Make our nest grow faster. Two, give our nest more buildings, or more great space to build into. The Zeppelin's now available. We already have a couple of those. Come on, you can do it. The best thing about supporting the businesses is Alnest is that I think it actually does help them grow. If we're supporting businesses which are officially our nest. <sighs> we got so many boats, it's not funny. Like, in real life, if there were this many boats and they were slamming into each other, I think we wouldn't be having as good a time. Oh, but look at that profit. It's not quite plane levels of profit. Trust me, when we get planes, things will get serious. I don't know when the first planes happen, though. Oh, well, I mean, the Zeppelin is technically the first plane, right? So, oh, seaplane port. That's cute.
Aww. Do we even have seaplanes? I guess they must be coming. Alright, here they are. Here he comes. How much you be worth? Probably not much, to be honest. Forty one K. Wow. Well, that'll do it. And it is apparently producing stuff already, so it apparently can produce metal just from uh, chemicals alone, which is a little bit weird, but that's okay. Alright, so we've got goods coming through. We now have metals. Beautiful. So, basically, I think this city is as good as it can get, right? Oh, it still needs alcohol, technically. And coal. Well, coal we can actually send, but like, you'd think coal wouldn't be, I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to send some coal, to get some coal. <laughs> I feel like that's famous last word stuff though. Like, oh yeah, let's burn coal, what could possibly go wrong? And I'm not even sure if it'll actually stay burnable when we get past like a certain time. After that point, we probably need to have a dedicated coal facility, but that's okay. But, you know, send the coal out. I think it might be better to send it to everyone. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to build a smaller ship than usual. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another dock. Which is going to be hard because I, I keep on making docks. And I feel like at a certain point this is going to become more difficult. That's okay. It shall not be called Alnest Valley. It shall be called... Alnest... Uh... Whole, whole. That makes it sound like it's actually a positive thing, but it really probably isn't. It, it almost certainly isn't. It's like not a good thing that we're sending a bunch of coal to this town. But as you can imagine, that's not very much in the way of space for the coal. Like, that's not going to be very much coal that they want to take. Um, and we won't be providing very much to coal. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go here and I'm going to link it with the coal home. It's a little bit extreme. That's okay. It shouldn't impact very much. I think they can still have... Yeah, see, they can still have the, um, the tram stations and the other stations working side by side. So that's okay. Makes sense, I suppose. But uh, we'll just put a little bit around, especially in spaces we haven't actually touched too much. Okay, I think that's about the best we can do. Maybe a little bit down here as well, since it goes very close. I don't even know if that'll actually help, considering it's an import it's trying to do. But now we can also accept alcohol here and food and goods as well. So it's just another place we can send supplies, quote unquote, to. So yeah, it's producing tons of coal, like literally tons, hundreds of tons. Once again, concerning. But, you know, especially since I'm literally making an island city. I feel like, I feel like at this point, I'm really not being the good guy in this situation. But, they want it. The people want it. So, Ugh, okay. Where do we find alcohol? Where do we find alcohol? We'll probably need fruit for alcohol, which means we'll need a piggery. Oh, they have a lot of hotels there. Madden Beach. A, it's not even a beach. B, I don't, they don't even have a stadium at Madden Beach. Okay, you know what? Y you guys do you. I'm not going to judge. Like, I, I, I'm not the best it comes to naming towns either. Alright, we're going to need to wait a little bit more time to get the money for this one. So, should be fine though. Hmm. I can't really break that one anyway. Which means I'm guessing this is the one I'm going to have to break. I'm going to have to expand up this way. 
for the airport. Which means the back max I can really go is from about here. Out. Well, here. Like so. Now, the question is, is this going to be large enough to get 11 by 9? Yeah, we will have to destroy stuff though, but still. That's... Oh shit, I didn't mean to spend 100,000 doing something I didn't want. Alright, first things first, let's get rid of this right here. Because obviously we'll need to expand slightly. Now what we want to do is we want to get 11 by 9. So that 9 is perfect because we'll have a road on that side. Now the only problem with this is we won't have a road on this side at all. So maybe we actually want the 9 to start here? No, we don't, because we can't risk it not wanting to go up and I have to delete that. So we can't. That's got to basically remain completely untouched, which is fine, I guess. So let's slowly build up. So we got nine. We just need to get to the 11. And once we've gotten the space for the um, airport, we can start building the rest of the territory for this place. So there we go. We're eight by... Yeah, six by nine at the moment. So we just need to go up by a few more in this direction. Spending millions of dollars at the time, but that's okay. There you go. So, now I've got ten by nine. One more. One. One more. There we go. And then we got, indeed, eleven by nine, which is as big as it needs to be, I believe. If I'm right on that. So... We can build the road up here for it. We can also extend out a little bit larger here because we want it to have more space to build around the uh, place. Doesn't matter if we, we're, we're uh, making this a little bit smaller because, you know, it, it should still be enough for the ships is the main thing. Now, I want to still expand a little bit out this direction too, but I'm, I'm feeling like I'm going to run out of cash again shortly. We might also eventually want to have another buoy, but for now, let's just um, at least try and run up, like, line up these roads with the other roads. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, and I think this is actually going to work out perfectly because there's another road. Well, I couldn't have planned it better myself. Like, literally, this is about as good as it can get. Now, it is true, I kind of also want to have a... I also want to have a train station at the eventual future spot, spot of the airport. So, even if I built that there... And just... Or even just save the land. Like, if I go 2x6, for example. Or 2x8. No, 2x6 makes more sense. Yeah. There's a small spot for a railway. Now, the hope is 2x6 should give us land to make. Okay, first of all, mm, that's not good, actually. We'll need to have it we need to have it actually a little bit further away. We'll need to have it one further away. So we can actually have the bridges going across as well. Because you will want to make this into a bridge. Which won't be perfect either way, I realize, because we're going to have two bits of land. But you know, it it'll still do it. It'll still do the job, it's fine. Alright, so that's okay, that's okay. So we'll have the bridge that goes from here to here. God damn. Hey, plane! Avix Lion. Yeah, you know, knowing a seaplane. If that's a seaplane, we could probably get a seaplane going before we go. It might eventually be a maglev by the time we get back, but at least we make the tracks now. Hmm, yeah, we will need to actually... Hmm... That will need to go over these lines, so eventually we can rebuild that. But as I said, we're not in a massive rush here, so it's okay. Alright, so that gets us over the line. This is where the next road will be, which is a problem. 
But they can't go over now, so it's fine. It's not like they can actually cause any damage to it. So... That's okay. I think we're fine. It doesn't need to be perfect. They are trying to build. I'll give them that, but... I don't know if, what they'll... Not they'll do with that, to be honest, but anyway. But I mean, if we made it a little bit wider... It wouldn't do anything because we still need to have the... Okay, good point. The metro line. Speaking of, though, I think one of these metro lines will probably go off, probably down here. The other one, I want to come down here. So I'm thinking if I bought this territory here and made it six long as well, that can be another eventual metro site. There we go. That will be an eventual metro site. Which probably also means we need to make a way that they can turn. So it does mean we'll need another way out here. Like so. Now, can you actually build a metro line? Can a metro line be in a bridge? It can thus. Though it does get slower, so we might want to build that later. I might just build this and this and build all this as well and just buy all that land, which I can't necessarily build with yet. There we go. Now, that doesn't go quite there yet. Uh, okay, let's make it go down as well. Okay. So, this will be just that. That'll be the... um eventual maybe even that would work better going around like a four like that and going that way might work better that's okay so yep that's that's fine now eventually this will be um we'll have a road going over it uh, in fact technically we can even build up this entire section as a river so we can even build this entire thing as a massive point which might make things easier Actually, you know what? That alone would probably be enough to solve most of my issues. Yeah, actually, that would probably be enough, yes. Because then I could build the bridge going over the metro. So, we'll build the metro line. Like so. Obviously, we do not wish the metro to be eaten away at too much. That's okay. That's fine. And then we'll build the road going directly up top, like so. There we go. That'll work fine. And then we can also build, continue the bridge, which is a weird one, but still. Oh, we can make a cheaper one. I mean, now we don't need to. Okay. Okay. So now that will link up to that very nicely. In fact, we'll probably even expand this a little bit more later anyway. Um, but that's okay. So that's fine. Now the next spot for, a, for a, a, a station will probably be over here. And then we'll have one over here as well. Now the idea is this one will link up to the eventual airport. And I'm thinking... I saw another airport here, I think. I want it to be a sweet seaplane port. So, let's link this to... Should we do it central? No, we should do it Alice East. Because now that's not going to be Alice East, I don't think. Actually, no, it, could, it actually could be. Hmm. It could be linked to the Alice Beach, I suppose. I don't know. I always have... Hmm. Always have second thoughts. Fine. We'll make this work. For example, I'm thinking we could do that. Because then we'd be able to make sure that the um, bridges can go over our railway. 
once again. That may be better. That would give us space for a brush. You know, oh, what if we did that one? If the bridge was there, we'd have space for it. So, let's do that. And we'll put the bridge here to here. There we go. Now, can I still build the metro under the bridge? I can. Not perfect, but it'll do. There we go. I think that works fine. I think the way this is going to go, by the way, is it'll probably go somewhere over here and go outwards this direction. Probably go to a town somewhere. Maybe even to Upper Vulture Lagoon. Because by then that might be quite big. And this one should head over here. So I might want to just... um buy this territory if I can. Yeah, there we go. So I'll know the other side of that will be clear for an eventual path going out of the city, which is fine. So we'll have the two, we'll have one that goes up this way. Somewhere, I haven't decided. Two TBD on that one. And we'll have the other one which goes around town, such as that. Now, I don't want to set it up properly before we go, but we will have it so that the town can expand around it, which I think is an important element of what we're trying to do here. And they are growing, it is growing at an exponential rate, which is good. So let's build this bridge back over here. Oh, we can't yet. Ugh. We need more profits, people. These vanity projects won't pay for themselves. In fact, these guys have been basically cut off from everyone because of this this um, project of mine, so... Good thing I've been bribing the people so much. And I could just make that a bigger area on this side as well, or make an island as well. The amount of money we're going to have to earn before we do this. That'll work. I'll take it, but it doesn't seem that like much better than what we already have.
Oh, shoot. I mean, we can probably still do it, though. Like, that goes to that. Like that, pretty much. Wrong bridge type, but you get the idea. So, if I go that and do that, and I then just do it like that, I think that would work. Let's find out. Yeah, see, we don't actually even need that much space. In fact... Ooh, hello, what's this? Auto coach set. Yeah, I'll take it, but I'm not sure what it is. We can even probably lower the land a little bit around it and make it even more as close to... Yeah, see, that's fine. Then we can have the one bridge going that way and the one bridge... Yeah. Yeah. Bridge. Bridge. We're good, we're good, we're good. Like so. I think having this area down here... Uh, would I still want a bridge here? Or a little island there? Maybe, actually. Yeah, I can see a little island in the middle here, maybe. Oh, could I? You know, it does need some empty space too. We could always have an island on this side. But then again, I won't be doing much on this side. Anything that happens over here will not be up to me. So I need to send more bridges across. So I can send a bridge across here. I can probably send a bridge across further up, like there. Or I could make another one that goes around like this a little bit more. Like that. That would work. So it's already starting to expand over here, so that's a good sign. The city expands, as do we. Although I admit, not my not my business interests, mind. Just just me personally. I'm probably eating a lot of pies or something at this point. Yeah, the whole fat cat thing. Capitalistic. Uh, There we go. Now, thing is, I will still want to expand that further out this way, so we will still need to expand this a little bit more out this way, I reckon. We've got 300,000, might as well do show us what we're doing eventually. Oh shoot. Not you. Bad. Okay. Road. Let's send this road over here. We can't. We need more money. 200,000 again. Okay. It should take us too long to get 200,000 again. I would imagine if I do leave it overnight, which is my plan, A, will it work? Who knows? We're actually going to stop and start this recording just in case. If it doesn't work, then I will have at least an episode and you'll be able to see the aftermath you've got to the main thing. I mean, our default building size getting up to two days on its own, so that's a good sign. I still want another island somewhere in the middle here, I think. Like, this can still be an opening, and I reckon we'll have one more island here. And then we'll need to start in the north. How much money are we actually making at the moment per year? Around 3.4 million. But then we've also got, okay, cash is what we're spending, so that's account. So, making around. Well, we can't really tell exactly, but it's around 2 million per year.
Oh, what's that? Oh, fuck. Oh, no, it's a steel mill, not a... Okay, I thought it was a... I thought it was one of these ones, the metal workshops, but no, we're fine. Let's just leave this for a little bit of time here. Not going to time lapse it yet, because it's still like half an hour or so before I want to do that. But I just want to gain a little bit more money. God. I suppose even when I go in my time lapse, I should probably leave both towns up in the corner. Because A, it'll be very interesting when they finally do over... Well, if our... Well, now this should overtake Lake Marawong at some point, right? Because Lake Marawong is not a city. It's just a regular town. Whereas now this is a city, so it grows faster by default. But then again, Lake Marawong is growing every time too, so who knows?
I can't believe that's still being primarily... Well, not primarily. I guess Dizzle says the peak fob down here is doing it, but still. Huh. What now? Not sure how that one expands there. Do I have a bridge here at some point? By default, this place will have more more stations, though, so that will give it a, be a benefit anyway. Not to mention more links to other cities. Hmm. I should probably link up Trout Lake as well. Oh wow, even those are making quite a bit already. Maybe I should try and make a small airfield. I mean, it should make some profit even if it is only this. So, I guess I'll build it like right here. Or down here. That looks like it's quite a nice spot. Oh what? Need to be in flatland? Oh, so even the seaplane needs to be on land. Okay. Like, just anywhere? Okay, yeah. Just anywhere. Okay, so let's, um... That's a shame. I guess let's get a regular small airport then. Like, right here might work. Or, more accurately, maybe here? Or... Down here with this beach. Gotta be far away from this one though, that's the big thing. I think here might work better, so but I'm, I'm not gonna delete their, their houses for it, because that seems a little bit cruel. I will, however, expand the range of the airport just a little bit, so. I'll just expand it there, and there. I'm very tempted to go down here, but I won't. However, I will eventually take this whole island. So let's just put airport there. Because honestly, wouldn't everyone on this island use that airport if they needed to? Like, I don't see why they wouldn't, you know? Alright, second of all. Airport. Now, I don't think my main city over here has one yet. So I should probably build one of it for it as well. Yeah, we've got it right here. Just, just do that. It's fine. Alright, as for this one, it's airports over here. It's expanding quite nicely. Maybe about right here might be a positive step for it. Yeah. Our own garages, perfect. Let's get a nice little airport right in the backyard. I'm sure you won't mind. That'll be enough there. Probably more than enough. I probably didn't need to do that, but anyway. Because this one should run too pretty big, pretty fast in comparison. Now, will it make much? Maybe. 
but we don't know yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build two. I'm going to have one that starts at Lake Marowal and we'll do a fill load. And then I'm going to have one that will start at our nest with a full load. So, pause. They should meet right in the middle of the sky and hopefully crash into each other and die. I'm kidding. I don't want that. And they probably won't anyway, because this one will probably fill up a little bit faster than the other one. Oh, sorry, the other one will fill up. I mean, they're pretty much equal, yeah. Now, how long will it take is the big thing. So we probably should have both these airplanes going and see how fast they take and how much money they make. I hope all these people arrived like multiple hours before we started. Flight starting, you know? Wouldn't want them to dis inconvenience us as airlines. Now keep in mind, this is only literally like 30 people who can ride on this at once. Let's find out where they are exactly. So, this one is flying over Peri Peri Lake Sandbank. And this one is flying over Flagstaff. Let's keep going here until we find out where Peri Peri Lake is. Assuming we even will. Oh god. Okay, maybe this it wasn't a great idea. You know what? I'm just going to wait for them to make it. It's sure, it'll be fine. Let's just see how this main voyage goes. I feel like realistically this plane could not do this without the serv the breakdown turned off. This is why I generally don't get the planes unless they go until they go really fast and they're bigger. Like honestly, I wonder how many people are even waiting for the plane at this point, or they just given up. I mean, that is a good point though. I could just build a couple more, couldn't I? Pause. 
They've been flying for so long, what would honestly hurt, hurt sending another plane out? Where are you? That's not Alice we want to go to, that's why. We want to go to Lake Marawong. There we go. There we go. So we'll clone this air aircraft twice. The Lake Marawong one, obviously going to Lake Marawong. And the other one going to our nest. So there we go. If they don't make profit, at least they won't make profit together. They probably will though. Technically, ideally, we probably want to make another one when they, they actually do cross. But like, so far, this flight has been going on for a very long time. I don't even remember when I bought the planes, but we're almost in next year and they haven't made anything yet. This could be a multi-year flight for this little plane, these little planes, right? Worst please, like, I need to go fill up my water bottle and such, but like, I feel like if I do, which I will have to do, um, I'll miss it. But I guess I am also recording it, so it doesn't really matter if I miss it. They know my luck, I'll walk out the door and I'll miss it moments after. Oh wait, 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 he just changed, wait. Well this is looking... Yeah, they're both flying over the same thing, I thought maybe, just maybe... He was changing his orientation a little bit, but not enough. Damn. Yeah, I'm just gonna go in. It, it's not even halfway over yet. We don't even know how it's gonna be. On the plus side, I didn't miss it. I may, I may have missed some crossing, crossing midair, I don't know. But I hadn't missed some landing. Oh wait, now that one's changing. Poor slightly. Okay, it's almost there. 
So they are always at their destinations. Technically they've got the same period of like time to travel, so they should arrive at the same time. how much okay now it's okay that's fine that's why this works out the difference between them Also is July. I don't know when these planes started. I should have probably checked. Um, but literally, it's always hot. It's over. It's over halfway through the year now. It's August. I reckon this trip takes a whole year. That was it turning into its final destination, but no. It just going up and down based on the bloody um, hills. Oh, now that is though. Okay. First one's arriving. Wow, 20 grand. It didn't even make even. Perfect. Perfect. I definitely need a bigger plane. More importantly, it should still encourage growth, so that's that's what we really wanted, so it's fine. Right, it's almost reaching a time when I'm going to be going to bed. Which means we're going to have to be ready or not on this expansion plans. Which means the key thing at the moment is making sure as many um, routes to the mainland as possible. As that is how it will expand eventually. Off into the mainlands. The only thing we weren't able to do is get very much over this side. But we can do a little bit more I reckon. Okay, that'll be good, then a little bit more road action, or bridge action, a little bit more bridge action. Okay, that's looking good. And the other thing we probably won't have the ability to do much is over here, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, fudge, the rest of the um, train line, I was going to do that as well, wasn't I? 
So let's just build that up now. So, we we'll want to build, the, choose the six. I'm going to actually also use this one, because that way I don't need to cut the um, old path of the train. Because it will be able to use the uh, bridge going over. Like so? No, no, wrong, wrong, wrong bridge. This bridge going over. Oh, shame about refunds not existing at the moment, but okay. Used to be able to. Obviously, I didn't have that saying turned on. I think last time I played this, I tried to make it really, really hard, except for breakdowns. I hate breakdowns. But I did make it a little bit difficult. Um, and so a few of my settings were set to, like, super hard for some reason. Not all of them, just the ones that I could deal with. There we go. That will give me that station. Now I want one station over here as well, which means I'm going to need to also send this. I'm not sure which way to send it actually. Maybe this way. Might be the best bet. I can just link these two up. Who actually can't? But I could do that instead. And then I could do the road. And then I could do another road like that. Perfect. Perfection. Exactly what I needed in life. Alright. Our last bit is going to be this one right here, which I'm going to need to rebuild as well. So let's just build this out like so. Because we're going to need to build the road out. And then build a new bridge across. There we go. And then we can have the spots reserved for this. Like so. And for the for the metro. Or whatever it's going to be, maglev or whatever, it can head through there. Make its final step there before it goes top there, which before it goes back. So I'll expand that out like so. I will build the spot for the station like so. Now this one is going to be a bit of a tricky one because I've got to destroy this bridge, but I don't want to destroy it fully. And I've also got a. I'll go wait for the train to go off. I never got enough to rebuild it, to be honest. It'll need to go over land, is the big thing for that little bit there, so. Okay. Pause. We may need to take a loan for this. Which is okay, we're gonna come back to an ungodly amount of money anyway. Oh, shoot. Okay, what is this one called? It's called Owl Nest. Okay, so that's fine. What I'll do is, I'll just build another dock over here and call it Owl Nest. Oh, it should come for that one instead. If I destroy it though, it will destroy all those things as well, so we don't want that. I mean, it wouldn't really harm. Yeah, let's destroy that dock. Oh no, it didn't. Huh, cool. Okay, it used to destroy the whole thing. That's a nice change. All right, so. We'll combine this up here. I might as well expand this whole thing up. Oh shoot. In mind, won't be able to do that. Okay. Unless, unless, unless we take a massive, massive loan. Oh, except for this. This needs to go up on a bridge. Oh shit, not that bridge. Okay, get more money out. Let's borrow two million dollars, which isn't really that much. And it's more we're spending on that, so I guess that's okay. There we go. Now, let's get the metro going through.
It should be able to make it, but it's going to be a tight squeeze. Let's find out. Actually, no, it won't because that needs to be risen. That will work better. That work much better. So, I have that going up here. Have that going here. Have that join. There we go. And this one will eventually just go out into the ether as well. So, that'll be fine. All right. I know we probably don't need to do that, but... At least then we know the bridges work. Yeah, that's a really bad bridge, so that's going to definitely need to be upgraded. Okay. Perfect. I mean, as close to perfect as it can be, that is. It's not going to be great that, that that line there was actually a place where I could have built a road. Hmm. I mean, there is a way I could fix that. I just don't like it. I don't like it one bit. However, technically, if I did that, like so, and then... Eh, bully for you. You can work it out. Not perfect, but it will lead to a few additional houses being built. Right around where the airport needs to be, which is good. You might want to do the same thing here, to be honest. Otherwise, we're not going to get anything built there. Okay. I'll do it, I suppose. It's about all we can do. Alright. Let's get ready. Repay what we can. It's okay, we'll lose a little bit, but we shouldn't go bankrupt or anything. Alright, now, next thing is working out where we want to actually stop for this. Now, that's probably too far... Yeah, see, there's no... There's no happy mid medium middle ground, is there? Okay, I think instead I'll just move down here. Oh shoot, this one's still meant to have its bridge. Why do you not have your bridge anymore? I mean, I probably destroyed it and didn't rebuild it, but... Ignore that. 140. That seems slower than the other one. Get more money out again. Ugh. We can't not have a bridge going over this part of our section. That would have also helped. So let's build another bridge. Just build all the bridges, it's fine. We'll make it work. See, it's fine. Would it be nice to have another road up here, but we can't really without expanding more, which we can't do, so. All right, profits aside, I think our best bet is actually to stay with this being the, the view. I'll put that city down there for Alnus, and I'll put Maralong up here. So you can see both of them, but they shouldn't impact the view. So I'm going to pause my recording. If this works, we should have a massively lovely long um, time lapse inside this. I'm actually quite interested to see it myself. 
I don't know what's going to happen. We leave it on for this long. I don't even know if it's going to work if it's left on all night. Guess we'll find out. So I'm muting music from my end.
Seven hours has passed. Seven and fifty-four minutes or something. How long was it? How long did I sleep for? Is the big question, I suppose. Seven hours and forty-two minutes. Nice. How big is the video file? Fifty-two gigs! Oh god, that's gonna take forever. I think tomorrow night I'm gonna have to do the actual. Um, okay. Well, for first, it looks like it has definitely expanded, so it'll be fun to see. It still hasn't gone as far around as I'd like. It didn't go all the way over here, but I reckon if we could change the way the roads work, it would probably be fine. Um, wow. It's actually doing fairly well for itself, isn't it? It's up to um, 20,000 people. Which isn't as big as it could be, but I mean, I've got a lot of stuff around. Now, another thing is, of course, we've got things we can probably replace. Because it's 1975. Almost 1976. So there'll definitely be vehicles we can replace with. Oh, look at that. Actual planes. Actual planes. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Douglas 952. Andre crap passengers. Okay. okay, let's sort by... The number of passengers it can hold. Okay, 250. 366. No, it's also a little bit slower. That one's a nice link of both, and its running costs are a lot lower. Holy shit. Darling 300 seems the way to go. Alright, start replacing. Now. Oh, shoot. They probably will need a larger airport than that, won't they? Ah. Uh. Okay, let's just get them a larger airport, because otherwise they're not, not going to go well, is it? Alright. Um, I guess the big question is, how large can I go? Hub? No, not yet. Large airport. City. Alright, well, let's just um, maybe put it here. We got all the money in the world, so it's okay. We can just do this. Like so. And then I can go like this, and hopefully that won't destroy everything. It does not. Okay. It definitely improved the way that um, that works. That's nice. There we go. Our nest airport. Let's go do the other one. Oh, wait. We can just teleport right there using... Bloop. And then, let's see here, what can we actually do? Hmm. I'm sorry to do this, but I think we've got to go right here. Do Link Marron Garages, which is now... Over here. But yeah, that should help. Alright, let's have a look at Owl Nest. Owl Nest has grown a bit too. Um, they're properly using this island now, and they've even moved over here again, which is nice. I'm surprised they're still able to grow, but they still got a little bit of extra space. Alright, let's see what else we can do. Like, upgrade-wise. Oh yeah, everything is, um... Okay. So we need metros for this one, which is only... Oh. Oh. Okay, we can replace them, but... I don't know if it'll replace all the wagons. Will it be smart enough to realize I want to replace all the wagons too? Alright, 
it does look like it's fully upgrading the whole train, which is good. Okay. How about other things? We've got some other trains we might need to worry about. So we've got some... Oh, wow. 120... How about these ones? 88. Oh, God. These ones are now faster. Wait, does it say ML? Maglev? Maglev? <gasps> Maglev? This early? 1970? Really? Really? Oh, I do like trains. Uh, for now, let's stick to electric and then we'll... Oh, there's rest trains. Gauge narrow. OKI okay, electric railway. Experimental. I mean, I want it to be maglev. I want everything to be maglev. Let's have a look at what the maglev actually can do. Because if it can only do a regular maglev thing, it's not really worth it. Oh, it's actually got, it's got a few options here. 130. Um, 140. Ooh, the A380's out. The A400's out. Mm, nice. Now, there is passenger end cars there, which is nice. So, we can actually use this for a train. In fact, it looks like everything's here for maglev, which is nice. It's not very fast, but if we upgrade everything to maglev, um... It says gauge narrow. It doesn't actually say anything about, um, maglev. I think these are more likely to be high speed lines, because they're all done by Shinton, right? Well, those ones aren't. Those ones are real. Odaku Electric Railway. Oh god, I have so many different things. Hmm. Let's do a small maglev test track and see what actually can go on it. We also need to start building more planes. I wonder if I can replace this as a small plane as well while I'm here. We will take it, but um, hmm. I mean, honestly, the blimp is almost better. That Chandair one is really quick. Where's that one? I think that one's the upgrade path. Small plane. Alright, so they're all going back, which is fine with me. Alright. Ignoring that, though. Where do I want to do the maglev test track? That'll do. Yeah, we can go through here. So I'll build my maglev. Like so. And like so. Hmm. I could go a little bit further on, but no, I don't think I will. I know this expanded over there. Alright, maglev. I'm making a test track that actually allows people to ride the maglev. So. This is how I wish people do... Well, I guess if they did test tracks and it didn't work, that would be bad. You know, never mind. I'm not going to say I wish people did this. This is a really bad idea. Alright. We now have Maglev Tress Track. Now, the question is, will it work... And what and will these trains all work on it? Now these ones actually just contain passengers, and that's all. So that's pretty much what we need. Oh, it's pre-built. Okay. Okay. I may want a second test track, to be honest. So I want to test out the one that also has the tracks as well. So let's, let's see what happens here, though. So we go Townsend. 
and then we go to Narrawarra Rivers. Oh yeah, it's going to the mag level, right? Well, that means I should probably upgrade my entire system with maglevs. All three trains. Four trains. But still. Ooh. Wait, edibles, Tranga? Food? Yeah, must be. Okay. Um, Speaking of, we probably should check if we've got any uh, boats we can replace, huh? All right, we've got some small cargo ships, which can be replaced with other small cargo ships, I'm sure. Okay, that's faster and better in every way. Yep, sure. That looks small. Now, a slightly larger one. That's smaller. That's smaller, but also double the speed. So, you know what? Let's take it. Honestly, all of these will probably be fine replacing this slightly smaller one. Oh, there again. Ooh, that one's... Much faster. 60? That one's much, much faster. That one's bigger. I probably need bigger. Oh god, so many choices. It's almost like I downloaded a billion ship mods. Ooh. 64. That's concerning. Oh god, I can't get over how many there are. Okay, we've definitely had a lot of ship up ships changes over the time, so let's just change it with Oh, so many choices, so many choices. This one will probably not be the best of all choices, whichever one I end up going with. I'm thinking that sixty one I saw before would be the best bet. This one? This one. Yeah. It's a little bit more expensive to run, but... Oh, actually, no. It only runs cow and alcohol and milk, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't do very much. Um, oh, What else can we do, then? Chemicals and Calloin. Yeah, chemicals and Calloin. Well, I'm definitely using more than chemicals and Calloin, so could we do something with a little bit more? Um, variety? All but passengers. Coal, fish, iron ore, livestock, scrap metal. Oh, God. Okay. I'm starting to think that the uh, days of general shipping is over. Those ones are working, but they're also really, really slow and small. Why can they only do those tiny, massive things? I don't like that. I mean, I guess we can upgrade the chemicals and Carlo in ones to those. If I do that, it will probably do that. So yeah, sure. I won't have enough to replace everyone with that. All right, now, passengers. Passengers, passengers. Oh, wow. 1,000 passengers for 64. That is faster and better in every way. That's sad, actually. Oh, well, start replacing vehicles. Small ones are doing mail. So. I mean, the hovercraft would be pretty cool. There we go. Oh yeah, things can replaced quickly. Alright, let's see what else we can choose to replace with, because obviously those ones are not going to do for everyone. Okay, that's a lot faster. And can do all but casters. Okay, so let's do that one. With this one as well. Basically, just going to keep giving it commands as we go. Until everything has got stuff. All right. I feel like some of these lines must never get replaced. We're just going to use really old shipping boats, which I think is what happens in general. All right, well, the first thing we can do is how much, how many people are going on this route? 
Not many. It's not really very valuable. Chonk Woods has a lot. Wait, why are you not... Oh, you must have gone to other places. New maglev available. Okay. Now, we've got this pathway that goes around the outside. Is it actually being used? Yes. Yes. Okay, well, let's return it because quite frankly, yeah, it's using a lot of money because it's incredibly expensive to run. So, as much as I like the speed of this thing, it's, it's not exactly a shall we say practical so i'm gonna send them both back to the cargo base for now choo choo how are you going by the way oh god you're already making 50k holy hell you're a good train definitely a train i kind of want to hear so Excuse me, can you both res res No, what are you doing? You're meant to return to the train depot too. Come on. Thank you. No, not you. Oops, not you. Wait, what? Did you just... Oh, I duplicated you. Oops, I pressed the duplicate button. <laughs> I swear I didn't train that on, 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 on purpose, but now I'm going to make a second... Uh... I mean, fair, they are worth a lot, lot, but, like, it's not what I was meaning to do, no. we go. Lovely. Now what we'll do, of course, is we'll have to have a signal here and a signal here. And then you can go because even though I duplicated you by mistake, I still love you, train. Okay. So this one is now returned. So the first thing we're going to do is guess we guess we'll get rid of the drain. Yeah, just 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 burn it, burn it in fire. I'm sorry. Wow. Um, I only just bought you too. All right, then we'll go through, and we'll upgrade all this to beautiful, beautiful maglev, my favorite type of track. Oh, look at it go. Oh, I can now do this to the bottom, the bottom place too. Oh, I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. I love maglevs. They're great. All right, now you've got my other one, so let's uh. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Let's just stay there for a little bit. It's okay. All right. Done that. Now go and delete that. Bam. You're gone. Just like the dirt. All right. All right. Let's keep going around. Now we've got everyone out. Um, it's time to actually... I, I know this isn't the most practical way, but, you know, maglevs are good because we're not going to ever need to replace them. Like, even when we get vac trains, vac trains are better for long distances. For this sort of setup, we'll never need anything other than maglev. So, it's fine. Don't accidentally change any of the other track. Wait, what? Wait, are you... How did you operate? No wonder you weren't budging working. Oh, no. You know what? That explains why I wasn't making any profit. Okay, well, we've, we've solved that mystery now. Oh, well, yeah, I feel like that that is not a good enough bridge for a maglev. No, 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 no. Um, wow, we, these bridges are terrible. We're definitely going to have to upgrade them as fast as we can when we get the silicon train. Well, I feel like these, these um, poor... Defenseless trains have been living a bad life now for a while, so I feel like that's just putting them out of their misery. Because I got such a large train system, I never knew there was anything wrong. Huh. Oops. Oh well. It's fine. It's all fine. Alright, now the question is what sort of train do we want here? 
And I think speed is still the... Actually, is speed? Yeah, speed's the name of the game at the moment. So obviously this will not be the end goal, but... Maximum speed. 110, 140. So it's going to be this one again. Not sure what the difference is between those two. Attractive effort and double the price. I'm just going to go that one. It's fine. And obviously we are going to want two of them. So let's build a second one. Actually, we probably should build it on the other side of the station. Yeah, let's build this one at the other side. There we go. Right here. first let's tell this train where it's going so train maglev go northgate woods blackwood woods chonk woods and then camblaggle woods and then your first step is northgate this guy's first step step will be chonk there you go. Now we pause, so you both go, get to go at once, because I always enjoy doing that when we get them both to go at once. There we go, and... Waiting for a free path, what? What do you mean? You've got a free path. Do I need to upgrade the signals on this train track or something? No, they're still working. I'm confused. Why do you think there's no free path? Hmm. Okay, let's watch this train and see if it actually makes it around the station. Is it literally just because there's no other, other signal sections? Like, maybe I should have a third one? Is that what you're getting at? It might be, actually. Really? Okay, well now it's fair, but like... Oh yeah, that's right, you went through the other way anyway. Oops. Let's just delete you entirely. Delete, 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 delete. Hold it. No, I actually want you to... Can you go back into the little hole? You're meant to go the opposite direction. That's probably what was happening. So, Camblage Woods, Chonk Woods, Blackwood Woods, and then Northgate. Now will you go? And go the right way? Did I just do the wrong... I think I may have just literally in my tiredness because it's 4 5 47 after i woke up may have made a mistake there okay so now we have two maglevs also want to replace this but this one won't require the uh quote unquote top of the line maglev um because well look at it all right let's return you back because you're i'm guessing you're also not making much money no, but you are taking a lot of people in, which means it's probably more about the number of trains I have here. So actually, I might get you to continue your journey for two seconds. You can go back and then we'll head in after that, okay? Given your speed... It's probably also mostly transfer credits, right? You're just losing money. Ooh. Full train. All right. There we go. I mean, I guess this might be made maglez or exist. Okay. I feel like that will definitely need to be upgraded too. Yes. Let's just uh, destroy this bridge. Like so. 
and then build a brand new bridge will hopefully be a little bit faster. I mean, at the moment, Gerda is the best we've got, so there's nothing we can do about that, no. Alright, next, it's by new train. Now, this one probably doesn't need to be as... I really like that train, though. And it's really cheap. It's surprisingly really, really cheap. Fine, whatever. We'll get another one. 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 Let's see how fast you actually go. On this tiny bit of track. I don't think you'll even ever reach close to your max speed. Since you're the cheapest, it doesn't really matter. Okay, 100. 130. Yeah, no. It's about double what it was. Did you want to pick up more customers? More passengers? You didn't. Oh, okay. You had a lot of people before. Maybe they just come in occasionally, which is why you're so bad at this. Here you are. Definitely able to carry customers. Like this other one was making a mint before. Yeah, this one's already making a ton of money. You know what? You just do you. I'm guessing it requires more people to come in, which means I need to replace this train. Because this train would also be having the same issue. Oh god, that's so many people. Yeah, okay. Alright, Depot. You are taking a lot of passages, like, all the time, though. Like, holy heck. Now, I'm interested to know how much faster this one will get, but it probably won't get up to its max speed either. It's really going to be long and straight. That's why the vac tube is, is not nearly as practical, even as a maglev. Yeah, everyone has to leave now. We're doing new train upgrades. This is... It's much more important than your livelihood. If you've got business meetings to attend to, don't worry. We, as a company, don't give a shit. We just like trains. Like, quite a lot. Like, trains. Alright, we now have train. Well, we have a train track. We can build more train, but yeah, let's just do that, so... This one is quite a simple track, really, so, uh, yeah. Boop. 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 And boop. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, let's see how fast it makes it. I guess 140 is the max. I thought it was higher than that. No, 140. I was just misreading. I thought it was like 400. Oh, well, it's making its max. Even the short track, technically. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, it is actually working now. They do realize that it does, it does work. They obviously just didn't want to be on the maiden voyage. Well, maiden choo-choo. I don't know. All right. Now, this one is really effing long. This train really needs to be replaced. It's It's been going forever and a day, so let's go to Electrified Railway. We didn't do it with the Metro because that didn't make any sense, but this one, if we can't upgrade to a Maglev, we should upgrade to a Maglev. All right, you can just... Now, what did you carry before? You were taking food, right? Yes, you were taking food from the food production facility all the way back here. Now, you should become amazing with a maglev, one would imagine, right? Because, yeah, it's really, really good. I mean, you'll be a little while till you're really good, like really, really good, but, you know, you're getting there. The point is... 
And we'll need to be a little bit careful on the upgrade when we get back into town because we don't necessarily want to upgrade everything to maglev. I mean, we will, but... Oh, we don't want... Oh, okay. Never mind. We will actually have to upgrade everything. Can you go back to your little home then? Because otherwise you're about to be... Can... What do you mean you can't find a route to a local depot? I was going to say, you're right next to the local depot. Sheesh. Okay. You stay there, and then everything around you is going to be turned into maglev. Perfect. All right. I guess I'll start dealing with you then. Oh, that station looks amazing. Oh. Have you already got the ability to maglev? Okay. Um. Well, if that's the case, let's just build a new train. Actually, no, no. We've got to replace these carts anyway, so we, we shall need to destroy everything here. But yes, we are going to be taking milk backwards and forwards, which is great. Um, Let's just get a regular milk. Okay. Oil tankers can apparently be changed to milk. That's fine. Um, Most powerful one is this one for this sort of train. I can't do anything other than that. I need to have something that does the milk, which will be the oil tanker, which I will then change to holding milk, I'm guessing. Okay. 37 liters. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, damn. Okay, well, what do we have which can do that then? I guess only this one, which, I mean, it's still fine. We don't need all the milk in the world. Wait, what? You won't do it either? Oh, you probably need the universal tracks, don't you? God, okay. Um, you're universal, so you should... Nope, nope, nope. So wait, the only option I have... Is a small... Oh, it's that one there. Okay. Fine. It's fine. It's not the most practical. It's one of those overpowered weird trains. But okay, let's do it. Let's see how this train works. To be fair, I'm pretty sure this replaced an overpowered weird train too. Because this is the one one I did it in. Cannot reach Northfields. Oh, because of those bloody... Excuse me for a second. All right, we probably should still give him a way through, so let's do that. We'll, um, you know, our old road, which we actually own, so it's not really that weird that we don't need them to. All right, let's just do this. Raise the... Raise it further. Build a nice little road bridge over it. There you go. Love it. I built a giant suspension bridge to do this. This is um definition of over engineering, but okay. All right, now can you reach it? I, mean, I know you can, but you know, I'm just asking for for a friend. All right, so milk. Although it looks um. Just like, it looks more like giant spider eggs. A little concerning, but if that giant spider egg gets made into delicious food, I guess that's all we need to know. Okay, it's doing its job. All right, let's do the same thing then, so. I think we can also expand this line so we get more milk to go through as well. I think that would work quite well, so we might do that after. The good thing about length and maglevs is this time we're transferring food. We're going to get one of these 190 kilometer ones and build it up with all the food. There we go. Not 6.5. No, no, just 6. All right. And then we're going to send it from here. This is a good route. Look how long it goes. Oh, love it. All right. There we go. Now, 
we need to get increase our supply of milk and there's a couple of different options here Ooh, this one's the best oh wow yeah look at all that okay so how are we gonna get there though we're on the wrong side of the track if we go that way maybe we should just skip that one entirely and go up and this way and grab these two might be better okay let's do that then once again there are ways we can improve this track later but the moment oops okay well i don't need that there got it fine it's fine keep him running long side there we go lovely and then go up this way ah, i love trains especially magnetically levitating trains all right we have train we have a spot for a train or at least we will soon there we go hi guys There you go. Now we're also going to do the same back here. Ooh, there's a nice soft spot around the back. There we go. All right. Now, the way we're going to do this is alternating, I think. Would be the best bet. We're going to alternate between the two train choices. Or space choices. I am almost sorry about what I'm doing to this town in terms of, like, cutting them off from society. Almost. Uh-oh. Uh. There we go. Much better. Look. It gets me more trains, okay? I realize we literally... Ooh, look at that plane. It's a nice plane. Now, I remember when I started this lovely little expedition, I had around, I had around 1.5 or 150 billion dollars, I believe, or million dollars, I believe. It'd be interesting to see how much I have at the end of this. 182, fantastic. <laughs> Thing is, every time we do this, we'll make more and more money. Now, the way I'm going to do this is basically this will give it more time to, um, expand. So. After it goes to North State Meadows. Okay, wait, no, let's just delete both of these for a second here. Okay, so first thing, it goes to Dairy Lane. Then it goes to Meadows. It goes back to Dairy Lane. Then it goes to Castle Hill Meadows. Then it goes back to Dairy Lane. Then it goes all the way to River Meadows. And then it goes back to, you guessed it, Dairy Lane. So it should give it time to refill the milk. Not to mention it should have increasingly larger amounts of profits. Hmm. Alright, so it's his first trip goes gonna be his first trip down. How fast do you go? 130? And the fact you're going 130, even when I go around corners, oh god, you are a powerful train, aren't you? Mm. Alright. Yeah, the fact that, it's, that this doesn't even bother them at all, like, holy hell. Good train. <gasps> There's my other train. Wait, why? Oh shoot, I forgot. Um, um... Should all course markets where you want to unload all. Can we like turn around? Because otherwise you're going to deliver a bunch of food to someone who really doesn't need it. Oops. <laughs> well, that was a waste. The food does get taken away, mind. Alright, well, it won't be able to pick up milk yet anyway until it gets more, so that's fine. Alright, um, Chinook Horse Market, so I'm surprised you can't already accept 
food already. Like, I'm surprised you're not in so much the thick of it that we can support food, but okay. This add on to transfer credits, train seven. I'll never know. All right, let's see. What other trains do we have? Is everything now a super awesome maglev? Everything except for you. What are you? Where are you? Oh, I know which train you are. You are? You're a train that was kind of annoying this whole time. Oh, uh, yes, you can also be upgraded to a maglev. In fact, everything can be upgraded to maglev. There we go. We now have maglev everywhere. Everywhere maglev. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so you can just be a regular express train. Not that you'll probably be needed, but that's okay. Let's just throw you there to here. Bam. Now, next thing is, I need to finish making the pathway of Magius Levs. Okay, six there. Six there. I might link this one up to the airport. There we go. And this one can be linked with West. Because that way, we'll have all that connected. And then out there north will be where the, um, tra the plane will connect to. So that's fine. Now, is the pathway actually here already? It isn't yet. No, we need another bridge. In fact, we probably need to upgrade all of our bridges at some point, but at the moment... The concrete suspension bridge is fine. Alright, I think we might only be out of one train on this, because I don't think we actually gave ourselves enough time for a... Um... Yeah, I don't think we actually gave ourselves enough space for an overtaking lane, so that's okay. I mean, it's not okay building around this maglev, to be honest. All right, for now, let's just build one. You guessed it, express train. Which will go around here, go around here, and go around here. Very nice. Beautiful, perfection. All right, we will eventually also want to have this pathway that we had going out as well. Oh, damn. Oops. I was going to have it in the middle here, but I don't know if that's possible. Oh, I hate to do this, but I think that might be the best way for this maglev to get out. We don't need to do it yet. I just want to have it there in f for future. There we go. And then the other direction, it also, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. You guys, in fact, no, no, that's not. We're buying out the whole lot, okay? That costs a few thousand dollars. Oh God, we are the baddies. Okay. It's obviously not gonna, not gonna do anything of it just yet, but we now do have a beautiful a beautiful um, maglev train system. Ah, beautiful. Well, I think that might be us then for now. I think to, I'm going. I think I'm going to um, do the actual modification tonight. Then we'll leave it on again. I think. See how far into the future we can get. See how far we can build these things out. Everything's should be coming up Millhouse right now. Oh damn, look how fast those hovercrafts go. Very impressive. 
Yeah, so they're still attached to North. I think they come out in like 2015, the biggest airport type. We want the Intercontinental. That's what we're trying to get to because it's massive. That being said, the other places we have can have like Metropolitan. Oh, Metropolitan, that was new. That's new. All right, let's have another couple of these around as well then. Let's um, put one up at the uh, Lake Wee Settlement. A weird name, but okay. All right, and of course we'll link these up to our primaries. I realize there are more profitable ways to do this, but this is definitely the easiest way. If not the most efficient. Transfer credits. Who needs them? Am I right? Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Because I also wanted transfer credits. Alright, we're going to have two planes. What was the one I was using before? Did I say speed before? Was what I wanted to go through? Ooh, we could have the Concords. Like, literally the Concorde. Well, the Unity Dart looks better. It's also a lot more costly. So, no, let's get the Yate Harmon. There we go. And then we'll go back to... Our Nest. And then... We'll build another one. Which will go from there... To late Marawong, creating the unholy trinity of planes going in plain places. Beautiful. Now, how are our planes going in terms of profit? The small ones, not much, but the big ones. Look at that. That is big. 1.6 million per year at its highest. Oof. What's our, our funding looking like at the moment? Oh, yes. Aircraft has already overtaken our ship income. That is how powerful air aircraft is in this game. The answer is incredibly powerful. So what we want to do is we want to be at every one of these cardinal points, like for example, right here. This will be a perfect place for another airport. So we're going to go here. We're going to build another airport. Like so. And then we're going to connect it up. So, St. John Heights. Oops, pressed the wrong button for that one. Sorry. Let me just, just quickly... Uh, I'm, I will fix it. It's fine. Don't judge me too harshly. Okay, then I immediately broke it directly after. Thank you. Airport. <gasps> Ooh, yes. Airport. Oh, you've got so many. Oh, look at all this. We've got beaches. We've got hotels. This is going to be a massive tourist destination, isn't it? Oh, we've got stadiums. We've got malls. Oh, shopping centers. Is that a bank or a cinema? I don't know. Oh, there's another. Okay. Another hospital way out there. Excuse me. No, you don't. Is that a restaurant? Oh, and there's more out there as well. Holy hell. In fact, there's also one of those scrap metal heaps here. I could probably also build up... Um, are you up? Can I just build the road out for you? Because seriously... I would very much like to include this in my uh, trip. There we go. Airport, and we'll also grab this for scrap metal. Oh, there's another one out there. Holy hell, how many bloody... This really is a tourist destination, isn't it? Like, the ultimate tourist destination. We are going to need multiple Concords to service this area. Alright, so, first things first. We'll need three planes. One, we'll go from St. John Luke's. John Luke. 
I and we'll go all the way to the northern one which we made before if I can find it again there it is there we go that's the hard one out of the way so that's fine let's also build another one which can go from here to here once again and then we'll build another one that once again Goes from here to here. There we go. Not much point sending them out simultaneously, as you probably imagine. God damn, the, those are in game insane trams. Holy hell. We might even want to upgrade our trams at this point. In fact, why don't we? Um, Let's see. Transport with these ones. Okay. Manage this. Okay, we've also got steam steam trains as well. Like we've got a steam bus. We've actually still got horse and cart that's in use at the moment. I'm okay. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned that we have that so let's instead ooh, articulated tanker that's cool that's a big one sure let's um let's upgrade to that one instead and the covered lang long wagon which also really should not exist at this point and then our singular tram oh yeah that's quite the upgrade. Alright, they're always starting to get upgraded. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, look, plane! Yay! Okay. This is good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Transfer credit massively, of course. And the tram has been upgraded. Very nice. Now, there's also a beach there. And there's a beach up here as well. Which actually should link to the to north, I realize. Sorry. There we go. And there's a beach down here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an intercity hovercraft system. That will go around as well. Because... Excuse me. What could be better than the inner city hovercraft loop? Talk about a uh, population, um, like a problem. Talk about a tourist attraction. All right, that's literally a loop around the entire city. So we'll loop kind of some bolt bunk of times because I want it to go. And then we'll let them go one at a time when they reach their the ports. So one goes. I don't know which one that is. Oh, it's the first one. Fair. Okay. We'll let the second one go when it reaches its first destination. There it goes. Second one can go. The third one go when it reaches next destination. Okay, there it goes.
You reach another port already? To say any port in the storm, right? And now they're central. Okay, then back to Alanis Beach. Perfect. Alright, we have so many hovercrafts here, it's not going to be profitable for a very long time, but still. Alright. Oh, maybe it will be for the beaches. Alright, so. Also, I noticed still a couple of bridges which are absolutely not fit for purpose. Like this one. Like, what the heck? That's still a wooden bridge. That's not good enough for you. It's not good enough at all. So, when this guy goes over it, we'll cut this bridge off. There we go, and we'll rebuild it, no matter the cost, to a lovely girder and steel one. And this one down here is another one that uh, really should be girder and or steel. There we go. Very nice, very nice indeed. In fact, technically I should have included the other airport in that loop as well, but that's okay. I like Yate Aerospace, I've decided. Alright. I, I think we're good here for now. Like, this is um, a good place to stop, and it'll be a good place for a second time lapse. In fact, I've got enough money that when I do come back, I'll be able to build a lot more bridges and a lot more, like, places for it to expand to as well, which is fantastic. I might have to cheat to remove a few of these things. I'm just using them. God, I don't remember which ones I'm using, which ones I'm not. That's a problem. Okay. Let's have a look at our, at our profits here. Whoa! They're earning quite a lot for boats. It, but it should also be said, of course. In terms of percentage of profits, my ships are not worth as much as they used to be. It's all about the planes now. Yeah, go Concords, only a million dollars a year on their own. And they're just more pleasant. Alright, well, this time I really will see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Next time we will have another time lapse, hopefully. And we'll have an episode first, of course. Um, so yes, I think I like the system. Leaving it overnight, it worked quite well. So <laughs> we'll see how if I feel that way still when I go through doing the editing to make it actually work. <laughs> Thank you. This has been my uh lovely not nearly all the mods open transport tycoon deluxe game and i'll see you next time goodbye